From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon attaches itself to a human, it becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you want to break that link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, even violent. This is the result of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. This is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. <laughs>